Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to discover an agent on the Avaya Diagnostic Server. ADS agents, sometimes referred to as SLA MON agents, are embedded in a number of Avaya endpoints, including a wide range of phone sets. ADS 1.0 supports the following agents the 96XX H323 phones, 3.1 Service Pack 5 or later, and the 96X1 SIP phones, 6.2 or later. The agents must be enabled through the phone set configuration settings files before they can be discovered by the Avaya Diagnostic Server. For ADS 1.0, the following four phone configuration settings should appear in the 46xx settings.txt file, and the phone should be rebooted to apply settings. SLM STAT 1 specifies the SLA monitor agent is enabled. SLM CTRL 1 specifies the SLA mon agent is enabled for device control. SLM PERF 1 specifies the SLA monitor agent is enabled for performance monitoring and SLM CAP2 specifies this SLA monitor agent is enabled for packet capture. The following configuration settings are not required for ADS 1.0, SLM Client and SLM FSB. Please check the current Avaya Diagnostic Server and specific endpoint product documentation for details on supported agents and help on enabling the agent. Once the agent has been discovered by ADS Server, it can be used to perform diagnostics such as packet sniffing and remote control of phone sets. In our example, we'll log into the Avaya Diagnostic Server web interface using the admin user ID and password created during the server installation. In the Discovery tab, we will select the country, state, and city of our agent. Next, we'll enter the IP address and network mask of the agent in the Range to Add box. Then we'll select the Add Update button. In the Agent Discovery section of the window, we will select the radio button associated with the agent, then select the Run Discover button. Next, we will select the OK button on the Discovery pop-up once the discovery has been completed. Finally, we'll verify the agent has been added successfully by selecting the Agents tab and verifying the agent IP address is listed in the Agent Search section. In our demo, we'll log into the Avaya Diagnostic Server web interface using the admin user ID and password created during installation. Select the Continue button to continue. In the Discovery tab, select the country, state, and city of our agent. Enter the IP address and network mask of the agent in the Range to Add box. Here we'll use a slash 32-bit mask to signify that it's just one host. Select the Add Update button once you've completed entering the IP address. You'll receive a message at the top of the screen when the agent has been added successfully. In the Agent Discovery section, Select the radio button associated with the agent and then select the Run Discovery button. Select the Close button on the Agent Discovery pop-up once the discovery has been completed. To verify the agent has been successfully added to the system, select the Agents tab. In the Agent Search section, locate the IP address of your agent. As you can see, adding an agent to the Avaya Diagnostic Server is a quick and easy process. The agent must be added before it can be remotely controlled or a packet capture could be completed on the interface. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.